Hello and welcome all. In this lecture, we shall learn how to seed the database with some movie records. So let's flip over to Visual Studio. Now, if you look at the database node and click on this um, dbo.movies, this movies table and view data, you can see that there is no data. Okay, and how do you make sure that this is the correct database? See, if you look into app settings.json file, it it has got the database name as ASP.NET dash Blazor Movie App dash FCA 74149, which is this database. All right. So now let's get back to business to see the database with some initial records so that when we uh, in the later lecture, when you go for the details page, we shall straight away find some records populated from the database. All right. So our starting point to see the uh, database with some initial records is uh, application DB context, which derives from the identity DB context. Now we have got this movies table. And the first thing that we need to do is we'll have to create a method. So if we write protected and then override and then space. So we have got this on model creating which ask for a model builder okay object so we just go for that one so protected override void on model creating a model builder object which provides a simple api surface for configuring a microsoft dot entity framework code dot metadata dot i mutable model that defines the shape of your entities the relationship between them and how they map to the database okay so with that in mind we will uh, see this one line is already written for you we'll um, stay with persist because that is important and we are using the basic classes on model creating and passing the builder object which is of a type model builder now let me start writing so we'll use this builder object or model builder object. So builder dot entity. Now what this entity does, entity is this movie entity. So T entity, the entity type to be configured. So we have only got this movie entity or movie model and then a pair of empty brackets. And then this has got a new uh, Microsoft has got a new has data method to see. So we will make use of that. So and within this quotes and end quotes, I'll have to write initialize the instance of the movie class. Okay. So don't worry, we'll get rid of this squiggly, squiggly line in a bit. So I have got a few movies and I'll write one of the records and then copy and paste from my clipboard just to save a lot of time. So first movie, you can see that, you know, as soon as you write like this new movie within uh, two brackets, you know, curly braces. And if you click on A, it will give you all the properties of the movie class. So we'll start with ID. So ID has to be there. It's not uh, null. So I will just write a fictitious ID for now. And then I can, if you click on the other properties, we can see that, you know, we have got title, director, genre, etc. So we'll next is title. Title is, let's say, a real movie, The Sound of Music. For those of whom who have seen and enjoyed The Sound of Music movie, that was a real classic, you know, musical classic, Sound of Music. And then is release date. Now you can write like new date time, new date time object. And it was released in 1965. Three, two, that is, into year, into month, into day. So 
second day of March 1965 okay and then next is genre so this is a musical drama then comma this property there is a comma that follows between each of the properties so director is Robert Weiss okay because I am trying to create a real looking movie database okay I've done some research and the running time if you look into the Wikipedia it is around 175 minutes so that's one record done now next just to spare a lot of time the typing I have copied some more records and I will just paste it over here all right so I've got four records and then uh, this bracket close circular brackets close and then semicolon here okay now you are all ready to see the database so first command that I have to give is add migration and you can give it any name and it could be with within quotes and without quotes okay so you can give it um, seed database or something like that seed movies seed movies table okay let's see what happens add migration and this is my package manager console for those of you who have uh, come late it can be open from here I'll tell you tools let's wait I'll come back to it again so you can see that you know build succeeded and a seed movies table dot CS has been formed this class with the date timestamp and that is seed movies table it is the same file seed movies table and prepended with the date timestamp all right now if for those of you who don't know uh, how I open the package manager console it could be open with this view and then uh, other windows and package manager console okay if it is closed and then the next command I have already shown migration for my other roles tables okay so after that the command was add migration and name this anything you like and then update database you have to update the database so now the database has been updated build succeeded it's done so if I now right click on the movies table after refreshing let me refresh the database and if I look into blazer movie app tables and right click view data so I have now refreshed first time it didn't show by this refresh button and you can see all the data all right the table is populated with all the seeded data so in this lecture we have seen how to see the database with has data method which is a new feature for ASP.NET Core 2.2 onwards